Welcome to getting started with Calyptus Desktop. This video will show how to use Calyptus Desktop to create and generate reports from a ClickSense application. You can use Calyptus in the same way with ClickView documents. We will see the following, create a connection to a ClickSense app. Create a destination to store reports. Create a report template. And create and generate reports. This is the start screen. Here you can open or create a project. Let's create a new project. To begin, you need to create a connection to your ClickSense app. Click Create. Give a name to your connection. Choose ClickSense as a source. Enter the address of your ClickSense server. Calyptus can connect to ClickSense server and ClickSense desktop. As you can see, Calyptus displays all the ClickSense apps to which you have access. You can search for an app by name and sort by stream. Select an application from the list. If you select Apply Theme, Calyptus will use the active theme in the app. You can set the connection as default. This will pre-select the connection when creating templates. Then click Save. The connection is now created. Calyptus has retrieved all the objects, variables, and fields of the application. Let's save our project. Now, go to Destinations to create the location of the reports we will generate. Click Create. Give a name to your destination and choose a directory in your machine. Click Save. Filters allow you to filter your application data before creating the reports. You have three options, select data in fields, set a variable value, and apply an existing ClickSense bookmark. A filter can be applied to a task, a report, or an object. Let's create a template using the ClickSense application data. You can create templates with Excel, Word, PowerPoint, or HTML. In our case, we will create a PowerPoint template. The process is the same for creating other types of templates. You can create a template from a new file or an existing template file. Click Open Template to create a template from scratch. As you can see, Calyptus opened a PowerPoint file. Now, let's add the ClickSense objects we want to use in our report. Select the connections you want to use. You can work with multiple applications. Here we have variables of the selected connections. In this example, we will add current fiscal year. Right-click on the variable name and click Use the variable. Here we have sheets and objects of the selected connections. The objects are visible under their sheet. This allows you to identify the object you want to use easily. Calyptus supports using Click Sense Master items. This is useful if you want to work with objects that are not used in any sheet in the app. We will use the Sheet KPI dashboard as an image. The chart revenue by product is a table.
and all objects of the sheet sales analysis as an image. Here you have all the selected objects and variables. To add an item to the PowerPoint file, drag and drop it to the file. You can move and resize the images. Change the style of the variable. Let's add the charts. Finally, add the table and change its style. Click Preview to preview the report. Here is the result. Now, we can save the template. Once we create the template, we will create reports and associate them with the template. We will create two reports, a single report and an iteration report. In the single report, the result is one file containing all available data. The iteration report results in more than one file, and each file contains different data depending on the iteration field. We start by creating a single report. Give a name to your report. Choose the template to use. Click Save. Now, we will create an iteration report. We want the same report by region. To go fast, we will duplicate this report. Rename the report. Add the field region as an iteration field. Create a dynamic name to have a different name for each file. Various options are available. We will use the report name and the region name. Click Save. To generate the reports, we will create a task. Click Create. Enter a name for the task. Choose a destination. Add the reports to generate in the format. Click Run to start generating the reports. The generation is now finished and the reports are created. Click Open to see the result. 
The next step will be to publish your Calyptus project to Calyptus server and schedule the distribution of the reports to recipients. To learn more about Calyptus server, I recommend watching the videos you received after submitting the download form. Or visit this page. Thank you for watching this video. We recommend you continue with the Calyptus documentation website to learn more. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us at support at even if you are in a trial period or using our free products.